A project two years in the making is finally becoming visible to Brazil residents. Today marked the demolition through Brazil's blight elimination program. News 10's Hunter Petroviak has more on the major project. The sight of a house coming down piece by piece could bring feelings of loss, grief, even anger. Not in this case. This house was a blighted property, an eyesore. And Brazil Mayor Brian Windham is glad to see it go. First of all, these homes are blighted homes, so they're not habitable. So that's the one issue. And it helps the homes adjacent to them um, as far as increases their value by not having blighted homes next to you. The project is made possible through a grant from the Indiana Housing and Community Development Authority. This house on Knight Street is one of nine homes that is slated for teardown throughout the city. Brazil Planning Administrator Teresa Glenn says this home is leading the way for the program. What's happening now is we're tearing down the first house to the, all the way to the ground and then they will sod and um, seed, do all those things and make sure that it's okay. Then we're moving forward with the next houses. The possibilities of who can buy the lots and what they can become are almost endless. Glenn says there's a lot of positive things helping to better the image of Brazil. New sidewalks, new streets, um, properties being blighted areas being torn down, grasses being mowed, people are cleaning up their yards, lots of things going on. And while it's the end of an era for this house and nine others, Mayor Wyndham stands strong saying this is only part of a great future for the city. I think, you know, not only the BEP program and the blighted homes, uh, you're going to see continuing efforts here in, in the city and we've got a lot of people on board with it on these type of projects and you'll see them continue in the future. In Brazil with photojournalist Lonnie Wyram, Hunter Petroviak, News 10. The city of Brazil received a grant for more than $200,000. Workers may tear down the other eight homes as soon as this week.